Hey everyone, good morning. It's Deb. Today is Friday. I'm um, sorry I didn't come on at all yesterday, and I also didn't get any more cards made for cards with Paige and Peggy, although I think I will still try and do two or three today. And if I do, I'll show them to you. Um, I'm here with a small combined haul. We're going to have two online hauls, three, and uh, Dollar Tree. Yes, I actually went to Dollar Tree, mostly because my mom was out of her word finding book, so I bought her like 10 of those. And I got, uh, in the non-crafty stuff, I got two of my snack bags that I like veggie puff things and um, two little tuna and cracker snacky things just to have in a pinch. Um, and the rest is crafty stuff, and I'll show that to you in a minute. But this I got, I saw somebody using this to make snow on a card, so I wanted it. It's like, um, it's called Flower Soft Polar White. It's for glue, then sprinkle, it says, add texture and dimension to all your craft projects. It's Katie Sue Designs, but it's the, it's made in the UK, and it's katiesuedesigns.us. Dot com, I believe it was the US branch of it. So if you go to the main website, which is listed here, Katie Sue Designs, it'll say, "Is a, would you like to be put to the US or whatever? And click on that and you go to the US store. Um, because it apparently is not permitted or discontinued or something and all the other stores in the US um, don't carry it anymore. <laughs> but it's basically, like fake snow stuff only real fine and it has sparkle to it so I got that for some projects and then I got um, this is from Peachy Cheap and I wanted a um, I've been seeing this Maggie Holmes flourish and I wanted that so I Peachy Cheap had it I don't remember the day they mailed this on the 9th so around the beginning of August I guess but you got this beautiful pad of paper called flourish it has six gold foiled pages 24 sheets they are single-sided I'm gonna open it We'll just quickly go through and this is heavy paper to me it's not real thick cardstock this is like all different sprigs and sprays ferns and lily of the valley I guess that is anyway it's pretty this is a dark I can't tell if it's black or dark blue it looks navy blue to me right now with gold foiling ferns and this is a pink floral, which almost looks the same, only a little bit smaller as this darker pink on like a teal, but this has like a yellow background and it's a lighter pink flower. Here we have some black and white cut apart. Lemons, which I'm not, I don't know, I'm not real into that. This is pale pink with gold flowing and I do like that one. And these actually could be cut out. They're so big, but you only get two full flowers to cut out. So, <clears throat> I don't know. This is like brown craft with black. Mint with pink. This one's beautiful. I love this one. All over small floral with, in gold foiling on like a vanilla. Light pink floral. I like that one too. I'm not as crazy about the yellow. This um, Stampin' Up! has a paper in the seasonal catalog. It's the only designer paper series I didn't buy because it has a lot of this only with like cotton on it or something. And I just didn't care for it that much. So I don't really like that sheet. Um, this one I like. It's like a vanilla with um, gold lines and um, black, black and white floral peacocks black and white peacocks on pink beautiful love that I would like a tablet of that mint with these are like 
morning glories almost. They have hummingbirds at them. Or, um, what's the name of that other one? I have Rosa Sharon that has like a trumpet, or a trumpet vine, yeah. Which, I will never grow a trumpet vine again because you cannot get rid of them if you want to. And I, I did have one and I wanted to and it still keeps coming back a little bit every year. White with gold foiling. Okay, that's different teal flowers on a pale peachy pink background. This one's pretty. It's black with blue and pink flowers or purple and pink. Again, this yellowish color. I guess that would be all right for fall, but I don't, I don't know. This one's pretty also. It has some gold foiling on the leaves and in the centers of the larger flowers. And that's it for the paper. That's called Flourish. Um, it also came with these tiny little tassels, mini tassels. They're okay. Um, this I love. It's an embroidered patch. A little bird on a branch. That's so cute. And then we have two packs. This one has 40 pieces of ephemera. Includes nine vellum pieces. And let's see. Oh, look at the cute deer. Love makes everything grow. Has some tags. Uh, I'm not going to open it all, but can you see what all's in there? You get a lot. There's a bunny up here and some butterflies. Some swans. A house. I don't know what this is. Some ferns in like a terrarium. Another bird. Very pretty. Another little terrarium. So very pretty. This one, <clears throat> excuse me, has 48 pieces and five vellum pieces. But you get one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, I think eight, or maybe just seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, it looks like seven leaves, and they're like corrugated leaves. And you get a butterfly, and lots of flowers and things. Let me see the back. Oh, yeah. This is now, this is pretty. This is all flowers and um, ferns and like the gold leaves I said there apparently is eight leaves or more um, I don't know if it tells you it doesn't seem to but five vellum and they appear to be a butterfly a flower another butterfly another flower and maybe this here this uh, or this I don't know we'll have to see when we open it this is by Crate Paper, Maggie Holmes Flourish, and it was from Peachy Cheap um, deal early in August. Oh, let's see. Oh, there's one of the terrariums. They're pretty big. These are pretty big. The terrarium is uh, a vellum piece. We've got some like picture frames, both terrariums. Here's the other one, are vellum pieces. And it looks like there's some words in there. Oh, well, that's probably this. Love makes everything grow and lovely. Okay, so that's the Maggie Holmes that I got from Peachy Cheap. Sorry, this paper doesn't want to stay there. I'll put my cup there. All right, and then um, I got, I had, before I became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I um, got a thing in the mail to get this card making and paper craft magazine. It's a UK magazine. And you can tell because it's a little longer than an eight and a half by 11. <clears throat> but these are the ones you can get at Joann's for like here, they're like 15 or $16 every time you want to buy one. And I believe I got a year for $16. So I figured why not? It's a good deal. So it might come a little later, um, but that's okay. So it came with this sort of separate in the package um it's um called bee dovecraft premium bee happy so it's got a little bee and the bee happy i like that and the little hive and these um they look like little sunflowers or daisies and this looks like a sunflower or daisy and there's a metal bee die up here as well so that came with it um 
I like the honey. Oh, and there's a honeycomb um, strip embossing folder. And they give you some examples of what they've done with this. So you get six stamps, bee dye, embossing folder, and four. Oh, there's four foil papers in here. Let's look. Let's have a look. Sorry for the crinkly. I didn't even realize there were papers in here. Ugh. Okay, yeah, that's now a little story. I had to mow the lawn the other day because here in southeastern Pennsylvania, we have had rain for like seems like weeks and weeks with just occasional bits of sunshine here and there, but nothing ever dries out. So we have had two days, Wednesday and Thursday, of sunshine. And Thursday, I couldn't, uh, I wasn't going to be home, I had to do something with my mom anyway. Um, Wednesday was supposed to be sunny but go up to like 87 so I went out in the morning to mow the lawn and the grass was still wet but I thought you know what I got to get it done because I can't handle the heat anymore in the in the hot sun because I've had melanoma before anyway um as I was mowing two things happened the first was I mowed near my mailbox which is tall grass and weeds right now right around my mailbox and out hopped from this they got scared from the vibration of the um lawnmower and the noise four or six they were hopping so fast i couldn't keep count because they went every which way little baby bunnies no bigger they were no longer than my hand so cute they weren't like eating peeny weeny still being well i don't know if they were still being fed by their mama i did not see the mama or the papa although yesterday when i came home i did see a mama or papa bunny down in the back of my house yard <laughs> instead of the front where the mailbox is so i don't think they're still there because when i got the mail yesterday nothing hopped out or anything so i don't know but like one or two went under my car one or two went across the road into the neighbor's bushes and one ran across my front yard where i was gonna mow to under my rhododendron so i actually stopped mowing i did like one more swipe the opposite direction and stopped mowing for a little while but when i went to put the lawnmower i, I went like one more swipe and towards the back where i have a shed i discovered i have a swarm underground of bees ooh 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 now i know certain bees honey bees are good for us and everything but yellow jackets under the ground no 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 my mom got stung didn't know there was a nest, was digging out an azalea bush this was years and years ago, and ended up in the hospital. And, and uh, since then, she's like deathly allergic to bee stings. So I am a little paranoid about underground bees nests. So anyway, I mentioned that on Facebook and my um, cousin's husband, his name is Frank, um, they just, they had their own business and they just sold it, but um, he volunteered to come up and take care of it for me. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. And uh, so he came yesterday while I wasn't home and took care of it. So I'm so happy about that because uh, I just, yeah, uh, I have trouble when I see stuff like that and I get terrified. I just shut down. I can't deal with it. And uh, sorry. I have a little bit of morning nose yet and so anyway he was I'm, I'm so thankful thank you so much frank um i'm so blessed to have so many nice people watch me and listen to me on facebook and family and friends so thank you all anyway so yeah uh, right now i'm a little paranoid about bees but this is cute paper <laughs> got foiling and I'll, I'll use it i like the hexagons i really do the honeycomb and this is just honeycomb which you could use for anything and it's foiled and this is the be happy be beautiful and honey honey and these are honeybees so you know they're okay they're not the yellow jackets underground and uh, this is just a floral no foiling so we have four sheets is that what it says three two with foil let me see does the, oh, the honey, honeybee when the words are foiled that's cute and this one's the flower without any foiling so that's cute I didn't even realize there was paper with that so that is cute and then this card making it also says eight tea time bonus papers inside your magazine 
I started to look at it and there's there's like templates and stuff in the back. Uh, how, this one's to make like a tent uh, card. It says crafting for men templates. Um, some quick makes, thing, like a pineapple that you can layer. Ah, that's kind of cool. Iris folding pineapple card. I might have to check into that. There's a watermelon. There's a lemon. We did see those. And this is a strawberry and a cherry picture. But see, the, the papers are layered around. That's kind of cool. I might have to try that at some point. I'm just doing a real quick flip through here. Uh, it says there's some tea time papers in here. Uh, ideas for gardeners to use for paper crafting. So, some feathers and birds. And it just has, gives you ideas. I had one here, how to make this card and tag. I really like this one here. So I may practice, and this one up here, which is like um, stamping on different card stocks and then splicing them together. So there's some ideas in here. I definitely, here we go. I definitely want to try some of these. Rediform stamping technique with five colorful cards. Okay. And. Oh, that one's pretty too. Just your cup of tea. It's got the teapot and that's beautiful. Now this has about Brother Scan and Cut. I do not have one. Oh, here's the papers, I guess. See, um, it's got teapots and some little um, tags and cups and saucers and things. But it's thin, glossy paper, like a magazine paper. And then you've got the blue with the light blue, or purple, light blue or purple. And I guess these are the reverse. Let me see. You have that on the reverse of the other, but they don't, they're not, like they should have had this where this is. So you had it front and back, but they don't. Anyway, so you can only really use one. And then that is the same on either side. And this is the same on either side. And this has like half eaten cookies and then banners and donuts and banners and kind of so this is about sweets to go with your tea. And then they give you some card examples and things to, to make. So I may try it. And then they've got some craft room storage things. Ooh, cool. <laughs> If I was rich, I'd redo, I'd take everything out of this craft room, put it into a pod or something temporarily, get all new furniture, and then bring back only what I think I'm going to use, and then sell the rest, but I'm not rich, so I can't do that. And I won't run the lottery, because I don't play the lottery. <laughs> uh, okay. So anyway, that's the magazine I got, and I'm on subscription. I think you get six a year it's like every other month um this one says it's issue 185 august card making and paper craft the uk's number one card making magazine i don't know that we have any card making magazines here in the states okay so let's get on with dollar tree the first thing i bought well i don't know if it was the first but i got two more of these and you know what it didn't even occur to me till just before i came up here to make this video that I shouldn't have bought these. I have a whole box of them. I had ordered a box of like 25 or something of them um, and got them from Dollar Tree and got them. Uh, so I have a box of them sitting here. Anyway, ugh, I do silly stuff like that sometimes. I got these really pretty napkins. Here's what they look like. They have sort of a wood grain in the background and then the leaves. And I just love the colors of fall. I don't. I'm not really a big orange person usually, except autumn. I love, I love red, yellow, orange, like sunrise, sunset colors together in autumn, and the greens um, kind of ground it. So I got those. I got these butterflies because I hadn't seen these before. They only had two packs, and I only got one because one looked like somebody had been messing with it. Um, you know, and they're the layered ones where the wings stick up. 
So, yeah, they're okay. I actually like the the ones that are the blue and the other natural looking ones better. These look more um, whimsical, I'll just say. <laughs> I got a pack of pens. These actually aren't for crafting. These are for my kitchen. I have a little container down there and the pens, I don't know whether they stop writing too quick or whatever, but I just got these cheap ballpoint pens for writing things in my kitchen. I write notes and stuff down there. I got another set of these. I wish they had them in white again, but they didn't. Anyway, uh, just for in drawer storage. And I'm probably going to be putting my um, stamp and blend markers, these uh, alcohol markers, in sort of by color family, and then putting them in a drawer here close to me. And I spent like forty, no, thirty-seven dollars at at a Dollar Tree. I was like, "Are you kidding me? I, I can't believe I spent that much." I got one ribbon. I think I only got one. Yeah. Um, they had a lot of other ones, but I think I have a lot left from last year. And the only reason I got this one, and I almost bought two of them, but I thought, no, you're just going to try. One should be enough to start. Three yards. It's a plaid, and I thought, I'm going to, I bought those um, wreath forms at a yard sale. I'm going to try and make a wreath this year. So, maybe. <laughs> I get these ideas, and then do I go through with it? Uh, not always. I got some felt leaves. I have the regular leaf ones, but I didn't have any of the felt or the burlap. So I got two uh, packs of the burlap, one in the orange and one in the um, burlap. They're natural. And there's five leaves. They're oak leaves. So I thought they were kind of cool. And they have like a pick thing on them, but you can cut that off. I probably meant to be stuck into it. Yeah, yes, it a wreath. Oh, and I also did get uh, this. Um, I I lied. I got a burlap ribbon too, but I mostly got that to use on cards as background. And I really didn't need to do that because I have a background burlap stamp from Stampin' Up. So anyway, and these leaves come in this dark red, a green, a yellow, an orange, and a brown. A brown on some of them. I guess the other ones it's tucked inside. So you get a maple leaf, an oak leaf, and I don't know what these other two are. Some other kind of leaves. And then I should have put these back because I have regular googly eyes. They call these monster googly eyes because they have a different um, color eyeball in there, but I don't even think that eyeball moves. It's, I don't think they're like shaky. It sounds like they are. So I don't know, maybe. But what I noticed is you only get 60 in these googly monster eyes. The regular all different color googly eyes, you get like 125. And I was going to put the, these back and get those. And then I remembered, I think I have those already. And then I just forgot to put these back. So anyway, now I got googly monster eyes, googly eyes in colors, and googly eyes in black and white. So yeah, I got enough googly eyes. I got two more of these. They had a ton of it this time. And this is at my Dollar Tree. I don't want to call my Dollar Tree. Um, so I picked two more of those up. I think they're going to go in friend mail. And... Um, they had some washi that I hadn't seen there before. They had these little pink owls with hearts on. Those were cute. And um, yeah, I couldn't resist them. Little owls. And not uh, now, I have no business buying any more washi, I will tell you. I have too much. But I love this too. It's like a, it's like, a, it's like Stampin' Up's lovely lipstick color. It's like a pink red. <clears throat> but it's in this picnic, um, uh, like gingham, I guess I'll call it. I don't know. It's called DIY Delights. No, that's what the brand is. They don't have names on the... Hmm. Yeah, DIY Delights. They both say that. 10 meters, 15 millimeter wide, 10 meters. And one more. 
this little floral one. It's like a spring floral with little pears and flowers and hearts. And oh, there's a little foxy guy over here holding a sprig. That's cute. That can be for fall then. Okay. So that's it for the washi. And then last but not least, I have, see this is my downfall. I've been watching some hauls. And you know I love my um, stickles. But I thought for larger projects, why not get these? I'll see how they are. They seemed a little, at first, liquidy, but I don't know. They seem all right. So, Ms. Donna Jackson, you enabled me, and somebody else hauled them, too, and I can't remember who it was. And I found them. My, my Dollar Tree stepped up their game, I think. But I got royal blue, mint green, ice mint green, ice yellow, ice purple, ice baby pink, and ice red. I got them all. I got every one they had. Yep. Red, pink, purple, yellow, mint green. I, really, I like that color and the pink the best. And the purple's pretty too. And I'm not a purple person. I like them all. So we'll see how they are compared to stickles. Obviously, they're going to come out faster once you take... Oh, there is a... Um, well, that's a good thing. I didn't even check that. There is a, a protective covering inside. So... And these were in the kids' craft section. So, yeah. Glitter glue non-toxic washable yeah three fluid ounces two fluid ounces excuse me i can't even read today and one more thing and this is for me it's not even crafty this nail polish color i thought that was pretty it's number 114 by la colors color craze and my my uh dollar tree doesn't usually have a great selection of nail polish so i was happy to find that so i'll be redoing my nails in that later today or tomorrow okay guys now i that's it for dollar tree i have one other thing that came but i can't share it with you yet and it's in this bag so you're going to know what it is um yeah it's beads bead box bargain but i um and i can't share it with you yet because i would be breaking my promise of having made something with last month's before i open this one so you can see it's it's still sealed it's um yeah so we're gonna open that together later this weekend after i make some things hopefully i don't know i have to um i really really have got to get organizing this weekend uh putting stuff away better not just stamping up my stamping up stuff is fairly organized except that i'm outgrowing my embellishments box already which i know but my other stamps and dies I've got to do and um, my beads and stuff. I have to get organized better and put stuff away and get stuff into inventory. So I'm going to be, let's see, I have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I have projects I've got to work on too. But I think I am going to organize first because... Uh, well, I may make a few cards here this morning, but after that, I'm going to organize before I continue with the projects that I have. I only have, well, I signed up for another couple challenges. So I have about four or five different projects, but one of them is going to take me a good long while, Jan. <laughs> a Halloween book that I agreed I would do a swap. And, um, yeah, so I have to get busy and because I this is it's driving me nuts. It's driving me absolutely insane. And I'm tired of looking at the mess. I really am. So with that said, have a great day guys. Have a lovely Friday. Hope it doesn't rain in your neck of the woods unless you need it, like California and Washington State. In which case I hope you get some rain, but not too much so that it doesn't mudslide and stuff. Um, and be safe, everyone, and treat each other nicely. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.